So who's your hairstylist? All right. Who's your plastic surgeon? It doesn't seem like a crazy question anymore, does it? So why is plastic surgery no longer taboo? Well, because everyone's doing it. Everyone's talking about it. You know, I mean, I think the whole definition of taboo is that uh, people don't want to talk about it. Because uh, so many people get it done these days. Like, every second person, I'd say, almost, over here, <laughs> the side of the world. <laughs> because people don't, are like, celebrities are very honest about it, and then people want to be just like the celebrities, so they're really honest about it, too. Um, mine probably be because a lot of people are getting it done, and you just want to look good and stuff like that. Everyone's trying to look younger and be younger, and so I think it's pushed that way. There's shows even about it, and and you know you can win a plastic surgery for your of your choice or whatever. So I think it's definitely being pushed onto society for sure. Now people are getting lazier, and so they're getting fatter and just want to use surgery instead of exercise. It's just cheaper. It's more amenable to people. It's more acceptable. So people are doing it. I guess because of the celebrity magazines and just the way it's perceived in the media. Because people care more about their body image and what they look like, they don't care about what people think. They only want to care about what they look like and how good they look. The thing used to be for everybody to be natural, but now the thing's for everyone to be unnatural, so everyone wants to follow the fads. People are just more confident about being themselves. If they want to get something changed, they just do it. It's not something you hide anymore. I would get mine done. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't. Never. Um, I think it's just because everybody else is doing it and everybody's so fixed on their physical appearance that everyone wants to do it. Um, well, if you're not comfortable with how you look, then I think it's important to feel good in your own skin. So if plastic surgery is what's going to get you there, then I think go for it. Yeah, and if uh, if it does make your self-confidence improve so that you can, you know, it's easier for you to go up and talk to people and do what you need to do to get through life, then... Kanye's mom just died from that, so I don't know. I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it's cool in, in media at all either. People these days seem to be more interested in celebrity culture, who's in, like what's the latest fashion, more so than politics and stuff like that. So I think it's just becoming more of an in thing with all the celebs and all the celeb magazines seeing it happen. Other people, when they're like, if they like someone, they care more about how they look, not their personality. I think it's telling kids at a young age, like children, like especially say 15, 16, I think that's way too young. They're still growing up, you know? Like seeing it on bus stops. Uh advertisements for Botox, that really takes away from the, uh, from the taboo, if there ever was said taboo. How young is too young for Botox? I think any age. <laughs> I think uh, to age gracefully, you have to um, wear your smile lines and your frown lines well. I don't know, 25? Depends on how wrinkly you are. I guess if you bake in the sun when you're a baby, you could be wrinkly when you're 25. 50. I, people shouldn't get Botox. I don't think anybody's to judge. Nobody should judge anybody. I get Botox in like 20 years for sure. Ah, uh, maybe. Well, 25 and under for sure. Way too young. I would even say 30 and under. I don't know. I think you should be at least 18 or over. Probably uh, if you're under 30. I don't think anybody should feel that they have to do that to themselves. So I don't think any age is a good age. You're doing it to try not to look old, right? <laughs> so, I don't know, probably like 40 or something. Well, you know, it's a personal decision. Everybody has the right to make their own decisions, but do they? Do, does somebody really need it at 22? I don't think so. Hi, I'm Karen Knightley. I can't move my face anymore. That's hot. 